Hi folks, this is Diane Roberts here from score4andaquarter.blogspot.com Long time no post. Um, I've been having a lot of things going on in my life, a lot of things changing. I've changed jobs, my daughter's having a baby, not until October, but of course I'm mom, first grandchild. I need to prepare. Um, I've, foc I've been focusing a lot on learning a new sewing machine that I have, so I haven't been into my stamping as much, but it's time because I'm missing it. So I mentioned that I have a new job, and I want to do a thank you, a little thank you gift for um, the man my new manager and new vice president of the department that I'll be transferring to. So um, just a little something. What I've made here that I want to give them tomorrow is um, a lint I cover, I'm just giving them a lint brush. A lint brush. In the office, we always want to de-lint ourselves, whether we have pets or whether we have fabrics that just pull all the lint from everywhere on our clothing. So um, it's always nice to have a lint brush in your office, and it's one of the things that sometimes you forget to bring in. So what I've done is I've made this little, uh, little thank you, a little thank you um, tag that says can't thank you enough little hot little button and some ribbon and just put it in a cello bag a little cellophane bag and they have a nice thank you um, so let's let's start up and I'll show you how I did this these little um, I buy I buy a lot of these I give these for gifts to all my friends I mean you don't have to work in an office you can work anywhere or you don't even have to be working you can be at home or one for your car or whatever Lint brushes, I think, are handy. I get them in five packs at the um, stores, like the big club stores here in New England. We have BJ's or Sam's Club, and they usually like five for nine ninety nine. I mean, and um, the this particular set I found this time is what they call printed, and it's got the chevrons. So how cool is that? So I leave the plastic piece on, and then what you can do is use um, one of the Stampin' Up! cello bags. The gusseted is good because they stand up well. Uh, you can trim off the top if it's a little too long because I like mine to not quite cover the handle. So you just stick it into a, um, a cellophane bag, scrunch it up, and put a bow on it. Use any color ribbon that you might have that you want to use. I'm going to use this roll of white which I thought was a a current Stampin' Up! product. What it actually is, I believe we got this roll of this fabulous satin ribbon in one of our paper pumpkin kits and I made the kit but still had ribbon left over so that's just something to let you know that if you don't subscribe to paper pumpkin it might be a good idea to do so because the leftovers are even cool. So I just tied a knot. I'm just tying a knot here. That's right. And making a little bow. I'm on camera now, so who knows how this will turn out. Just make a bow, simple bow. And there we have it. And we'll just trim it down. It's a little big. I'm sure you play with your bows like I do until you get them just right. Trim that ribbon at an angle and good. Okay. So now your gift is wrapped. So now the fun the fun part comes because we're going to make the tag. Uh, what I did was cut a piece of Whisper White cardstock at two inches, and then I cut it down to make this to make this tag. I this cut it two inches, and then I cut it to two and three quarters. Two and three quarters on the length. Yeah, two and three quarters on the length. And using the scallop tag top of, uh, punch, I'll just scoot this in as far as it will go and punch it. And then we have this cute t scallop top. Now, I kept with white and blue because um, um, that's the color of this. Sometimes you get red covers, so just go with whatever color you get. Um, and I'm using a blue here and a, a sponge dauber just to kind of dress up the white. Just wanted a little bit of blue along the edges. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop uh, sponging the edges right now and I'm using the Project Life um, corner rounder and I'm going to round those corners so it'll match the top because it's scalloped. And there we have it. Now I can continue my, uh, I mean I wouldn't have had blue rounded corners, but that's okay. You can always go back in and do it. 
All right, so we call it. We just put a little edging on that um, tag. Now I'm using the stamp set called Lovely Amazing You, and I love this uh, sentiment. Can't thank you enough. So again, it's uh, photopolymer. So ooh. You know what? When it's photopolymer, you should really stamp on your um, piercing mat. And I don't have one here. So if it doesn't come out right, it's my fault for not bringing the stamping, bringing the mat over. But we're going to take a shot and uh, ink up the stamp. Okay. And I just want this sentiment to be a little over to the side because I want to put that button on that you saw. And put a little heart underneath. So let's stamp it on the edge. And there it is. I love these photopolymer stamps. You know exactly where they're going to end up. Now I took one of these um, buttons, embellishments, gold basic metal button. Okay, gold metal, metal basic. Some of them have four holes, some are two. I picked a two hole one so that I could tie a little bow. And using some um, linen, linen thread, I'm going to just Oops, I'm just going to thread the button. Thread this button. And tie a bow. Because the threading of the button takes the longest. The eyes are getting old. And then the fingers let it go once it's through. <laughs> okay, here we go. Just pull it up. I just pulled off the length of the um, linen thread. I like the way the linen thread looks with the gold and it just gives it a just a little special little cute embellishment for the corner there again just another bow tie your bow loops and then play with it until it's the size you want it to be and some people like short short and um, short ties on the bows or long streaming ends. let's see what we're gonna do here it starts very big of course and just pull it down Put it a little closer. Pull your bow down till it's the size you want to see. I think that looks cute. There you have it. I'm going to go with this size here. Oops. There we go. Okay. And that's going to go right here. So what I'm going to do is attach that to the tag with some glue dots. I'm going to use two, the mini glue dots. Stick one there. And that's the secret of glue dots. You don't try to pull a glue dot off and put it on the object you're gluing. You put the object right onto the glue dot and let it stick. And then they stay in shape. They stay better in a better shape. And we'll stick the button right up here. Nice gold button. And then trim your lengths, whatever length you'd like. Okay. Now the other thing I did to embellish the little thank you tag is I took the heart punch, the heart border punch, and I know I brought it over here because I just punched with it. Um, I did not bring it over here. Yes, that was my punch that you heard smashed to the floor, but here it is, unscathed. Okay, I used this um, hearts border punch to, to uh, punch these teeny tiny hearts. You can see how small they are. Here they are. Teeny tiny hearts. First I was going to put three on the bottom, but then I thought, huh, one's probably enough. Um, and I used the Tombow um, Mono Liquid Glue here to adhere the heart to the tag. I just take a little bit of glue, put it on a toothpick, and then stick it onto the back of the heart. Now who knows back from front? I don't know. I just thought this one was looking like... <laughs> It was puffing up, so then just take it and drop it down approximately where you want it. And you know, even slanty like that looks kind of cute, but then I just kind of move it around. I'm going to use my um, paper piercing tool because this tool I use for everything. It's crazy. And once I have it where I want it, I just kind of press down a bit and the glue engages and it's tied. I mean, inside. It's glued. I'm thinking about my next step. Now I'm going to use some um, white baker's twine. And as I said, depending upon what you're doing or what you're wrapping, all these colors are optional. And you'll just use whatever it is that you want to use 
that matches the product you're wrapping. I love that you can see see right through the cellophane and so there's already some color showing and that's that's how you decide your color pal palette for the little thank you card. Alright, if, if people are wondering what color blue this is, I, I, I didn't mention it. I didn't mention it intentionally because it's a retired color. It's Midnight Muse. I love Midnight Muse. I stocked up on it and I thought it was the closest. I was going to use Pacific Point, Pacific Point, but I didn't like the combination. Not that anyone else probably would have noticed. So you can either tie this in a knot and just wrap it over or you can put it around your um, lint brush handle this way and tie it now. Um, tying it this way it can fall to the wherever you, whatever length you want it to fall on your product. So there you have it. Let me just tie this knot again. Okay, of course the dogs had to bark before the video ended. I closed the door so but I'm sure you're hearing them. That's Molly. And there you are. I can't thank you enough. Oh, can't thank you enough. A nice little thank you. A nice little thank you gift with a little thank you card. Um, it's not all mushy and gushy. It's just thanks. I'm just thanking them for letting me join the department because it's a really great place to work and I'm looking forward to my new job. So there you have it. Um, hope you try it out. Thanks again. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.